$1,400 AI powered shoes. I've seen these pretty much go viral everywhere. I watched Casey Neistat's video. They looked pretty cool. Now this is from a company called Shift Robotics. And yes, I paid $1,400 out of my own pocket to show you guys and also pick them up because they look kind of just cool. Initially, it started on Kickstarter. They ended up raising $330,000. And wow, this box is super easy to get open. And this was, I want to say, man, I don't know if it was a year ago. It was in 2022. They hit their goal and they went into production. They're located in Philadelphia and the designer's name is Sunji Zhang. And the reason he invented these is because he actually almost got in an accident on his way to work riding his bike. And it seems like he thought of, you know, what if I could cut commuting time in half? Or perhaps, you know, maybe do something a little bit safer. And that's kind of where that AI technology comes from. So when we open the box up, we have a bag. This is where you keep your shoes and we have a container with a switching adapter so this must be the charger charge both of the shoes you have two USB-C outputs and then we have two cords right here take your first step into a new world and then we have like this cool design of what they look like and it says the future is here and we have the AI powered shoes look at these things wow actually a lot heavier than i expect i honestly didn't really know what to expect but i mean these are pretty heavy man this is like at least five pounds man but i don't even the quality on these is actually really insane which i mean makes sense it took them about five years to execute this concept i'm sure there were so many different prototypes and just styles that came along with this you guys can see kind of like flappy huh and here is the other pair man smooth 10 20 pounds right here like wow these are heavy. As I was waiting for these to come in, I already kind of figured out how to pretty much use them. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's this little power button on the back and you turn it on, just wait for this light to flash. Oh, I wasn't pushing it hard enough. Boom. There's light number one, hold this one down, light number two. And then when they're in sync, there we go. So the light went from white blinking to just a solid color now. These bad boys are ready to go. Man, I'm just gonna keep emphasizing how heavy these things are. It's gonna be really interesting to see like how they fit on, or not even how they fit, just how they feel on feet. So I have my Akron Impressos, got the socks on deck, shout out to homie Seth Fowler. Slip those bad boys on. A lot of people always ask me about these. These are the Nike Presto acronyms. Now what I'm liking about this from a sneakerhead perspective is that these aren't necessarily 100% shoes. I mean, it's similar to like roller skating. At least that's what it seems like. I like the fact that I can still, you know, pull out the J's and the different Nikes and just the sneakers in general. I'm sure people seeing you ride around in these are gonna be like, yo, what the? Cause it's just, it's so different. So you just put your foot in. I'm guessing you have to size this. So in the instructions, it said that it wants your, the balls of your feet to be right at the middle line. So that should be good. And I wear a size 12 just in case anyone was wondering. Go ahead and size this. So these are just magnetic. Make sure it's a snug fit. Wow, that feels weird. We'll go ahead and do the other one. Wow. <laughs> so when you first put them on, you guys can see like there's the little white mode. So that is basically like stationary or stop. I don't know, like their emergency brake. So you really can't do anything. You just kind of walk normal. And to activate them, you lean forward. It's like some type of Dorothy, I shouldn't say you lean forward. You like lift your heel up and turn. I gotta figure out how to do it. Let's see. Come on, Dorothy, click your heels. So this is one of those things. Oh, there we go. Boom. Okay. So now what? First things first, I think I need to adjust this because you guys can see my toe is hanging off. Whoa, I'm imagining this is a lot easier when you actually have like more space, but it's crazy. So it's like heel to toe, heel to toe. And I can hear them like trying to activate. There we go. Oh! oh, and it just stops. These are by far the most interesting shoes I've ever worn.
This is seriously the weirdest thing ever. Jesus, almost fell. I'm currently trying to learn how to do this. There's definitely a learning curve. And then we have a wall. Oh. No, they're like, they're supposed to help you walk faster. Don't put me in this. I don't want to be in this. Oh, so you like, it's kind of like an escalator for your feet. Yes. Like when he starts walking. The one thing about these is they're super loud. And then it'll stop. And then... Yeah, definitely. It's gonna take some time. So what do you guys think of these AI shoes? Is this something that you would buy? This is kind of like the future, man. You know, I'm excited to see what else comes out. $1,400 AI shoes. Are they a cop or a drop? Would you pick these up? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.